a different sort of business that is no less enterprising and not much quieter by times is carried on here by two brothers. They are rare wolfhounds mainly and English sheepdogs which they export to an agent in America. Anyone can breed a wolfhound or anything like that. You leave them with them while they're five weeks old and then you feed them for a week and send them away at six. How many one at all can get into dogs, Dad? There's some people in America now that I give them six and seven pound of meat, but I don't see them using them that much at all. It's mostly all on meat or any other waste like you'd have. You could feed them in anything, parata or anything like that, milk, dinner. They'll use up anything you have, any waste. I don't believe they I mean, if they get other stuff with it, they won't need. You don't have to feed them on all meat because you couldn't. It's a bit too dear to give it up. They're using the wolf hunt as a gear dog. They're using it as bear hunting and at the mountain lines. That's what we've been told anyway. And then, well, the small dogs are only pet dogs. Some people keep them in for shows and go showing them the honour of William with them if they can. Well, I mean, we have to keep different breeds because he don't want to keep on to the one lot, this agent we have. He takes uh, Yorkshires, Kerry Blues, and Irish Terriers, Wolf Hunts, Fox Terriers, and any good breed, a pedigree breed, that's what he's interested in. And uh, the pedigree dog is the dog. We were told that they make a great price in America, but really we don't know what the man over get from. No one will know that, like he wanted us that. We're just in the mountain, and when we have them, we're up with Bible. We don't know what way he get on after. Well, I suppose it helps to be a butcher when you have a lot of dogs to feed. <laughs>